Love is in the air today at World Currency Collector. We're going to take a special journey around the world to check out some notes and coins in celebration of Valentine's Day. Singer Garth Brooks once said, quote, You aren't wealthy until you have something money can't buy. Now, I wouldn't mind at all if someone gave me a bouquet of $20 bills, but I believe that immersing myself in another culture and learning what's important to its people is far more valuable. For me, Valentine's Day conjures up images of roses, chocolate, diamonds, and spending time with my loved ones. And today we're going to see notes and coins from Armenia, Canada, China, the United States, Mexico, Norway, Ghana, and you're sure to love them. So let's take a look. Let's start our journey in Armenia with this 50 Armenian dram from 1998. Armenia is located in Western Asia. It's bordered by Turkey, Russia, Georgia, Azerbaijan, and Iran. The front of this note has a portrait of the famous composer and conductor Aram Khachaturian. He is best known for his ballet music, and most importantly for the ballet Gayane in 1942, which means happiness. On the back, you can see two dancers that are performing this ballet. The ballet features four acts set in Armenia, which include elements of interethnic love, betrayal, and friendship. Ballet isn't top on your list of things to do this Valentine's Day? All right, well, let's move over to Canada to examine this fine silver coin called the Eau de l'Amour, or Celebration of Love. This coin from 2016 features two doves on the front, and doves are known for their unending devotion to their mate. They're an international symbol of togetherness and love. This coin has five Swarovski crystals with beautiful enameled feathers on the top. There were 15,000 of these coins minted, and it contains just under 8 grams of 99.99% silver. The face value of the coin is 10 Canadian dollars. If everlasting devotion lined with Swarovski crystals doesn't do it for you, then how about some roses? We're off to the world's most populous country, China, located in East Asia. This 10 Chinese yuan note from 1999 has a beautiful pink rose on the front next to a portrait of Mao Zedong, better known as Chairman Mao. He was a Chinese communist revolutionary and a founding father of the People's Republic of China. The reverse of this note has a scene from the Three Gorges of the Yangtze River. The Three Gorges is an area known for its spectacular scenery. They extend for about 75 miles of the 120-mile river. I sure wouldn't mind cruising down this river with my special someone. And my favorite part of this Ten Wan note is the watermark, which is also a beautiful rose. What's the matter? You don't like your roses mixed with highly controversial Chinese leaders? Well then, the United States Mint has the perfect coin for you. The United States is located in North America, and it shares borders with Canada to the north and Mexico to the south, in case you didn't know that. Inside this beautiful green velvet lined presentation box, which has quite the pomp and circumstance, I must say, we're gonna find this beautiful, perfect rose minted in 99.99% fine silver and weighing in at 0.77 troy ounces. This commemorative coin minted in Philadelphia in 1997 honors the United States Botanic Garden, located on the Capitol grounds in Washington, D.C. This is the back of the coin. If you turn it around, you can see the front of the coin. This has the United States Botanic Garden building featured under the word Liberty. The face value on this coin is one United States dollar. And who wouldn't love to stroll around this beautiful garden with your better half? Do all those pesky thorns get in your way? Well, let's head down south to Mexico and check out this 500 pesos or 500 peso note from 2013. 
The front features a portrait of Diego Maria de la Concepcion Juan Nepomucino Estanislao de la Rivera y Barrientes Acosta y Rodriguez. He's better known as Diego Rivera. His cubism paintings, murals, sculptures, and lithographs can be admired at art museums around the world, including the National Palace in Mexico City and the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. On the back of this note, we'll see a self-portrait of his wife, the famed Mexican painter Frida Kahlo. She incorporated Mexican culture and tradition into much of her work. And the painting seen here to the right is called El Brazo de Amor de la Universio. It's better known as the love embrace of the universe. You can check out the links in the video description to learn more about this fascinating painting and the other things that we've seen today. Steering clear of cubist love, Norway is coming to your rescue with this 100 kroner banknote issued in 2006. The Kingdom of Norway is located in Europe in the western portion of the Scandinavian peninsula. Kirsten Flagstad, a Norwegian opera singer and a highly regarded Wagnerian soprano, is on the front of this note. That means she had a powerful, rich, emotive voice that could sing right over top of a full orchestra. She's best known for her, her role of Isolde in the opera Tristan und Isolde. This opera was a landmark in the development of romantic music. The reverse of this 100 kroner note shows a seating chart for Folketeatret, or the People's Theater in Oslo, Norway. And if you took your special someone there today, you might sit down for a showing of Les Miserables or Singing in the Rain. Broadway's not really your forte? Maybe diamonds and chocolate are more up your alley. Behold, here's a 1,000 CD bank note from the country of Ghana issued in 2003. The Republic of Ghana is located at the southern base of West Africa. It's bordered by the Ivory Coast, Burkina Faso, Togo, and the Gulf of Guinea and the Atlantic Ocean. Ghana is Africa's second largest gold producer behind South Africa. Their gold mine reserves exceed 15 million troy ounces. The country produces lots of bauxite, manganese, and diamonds. Diamonds are made of carbon and can be found in clear, blue, yellow, brown, green, purple, pink, orange, and red. They're formed between depths of 87 and 118 miles inside the Earth's mantle. The word diamond comes from the ancient Greek word adamas, or unbreakable. The back of this 1,000 CD bank note features a harvest of cocoa beans. Cocoa is the main agricultural export for Ghana, and it's second in the world in cocoa export behind the Ivory Coast. Cocoa trees are native to Central America, but they can grow within 20 degrees of the equator. About 70% of the world's cocoa supply comes from West Africa today. Gold, diamonds, and chocolate? Isn't Ghana amazing? Valentine's Day, also called St. Valentine's Day or the Feast of St. Valentine, is an annual holiday celebrated on February 14th. It became associated with romantic love in the 14th century. The tradition of flowers and confections began in England in the 18th century. In Ghana, it's known as National Chocolate Day. In Latin America, the day is known as Dia del Amor y la Amistad, or Day of Love and Friendship. In China, it's known as the Lover's Festival, while in Portugal, it's referred to as Dia dos Namorados, or Day of the Enamored. In Japan, it's tradition for women to give chocolates to men on Valentine's Day, and in response on White Day, celebrated on March 14th, men are expected to give women gifts. We've taken a lovely spin around the world to the Asian, African, European, and North American continents today. And through this series, I've learned that we have more in common with all the people in the world than I ever imagined. I hope that I've inspired you to love everyone, everywhere, no matter where they live in the world. 
Happy Valentine's Day from World Currency Collector.